What is difference between feed batch, continuous and batch cultures? The main difference between feed batch, continuous, and batch cultures is the way that the cells are grown and the medium is supplied. In a batch culture, cells are grown in a closed system with a fixed volume of medium. The cells are allowed to grow until they reach a certain cell density, after which the culture is harvested. An example of a batch culture is growing bacteria in a test tube with a fixed amount of nutrient medium. The culture is incubated until the cells reach a certain density and then harvested. Batch culture is simple, easy and cost-effective to perform. However, this method has a lower cell density and productivity, and the cells may be subject to stress and nutritional limitations. In a continuous culture, cells are grown in an open system with a continuous flow of medium. As cells are harvested, new cells are added to the culture, maintaining a constant cell density. An example of a continuous culture is growing bacteria in a chemostat. The culture is maintained at a constant cell density by adjusting the flow rate of medium and the rate of cell harvesting. Continuous culture allows for high cell densities, high productivity, and steady state growth. However, it requires constant monitoring and control of the culture conditions and can be more complex and expensive to set up and maintain. In a feed batch culture, Cells are grown in a closed system with a fixed volume of medium. However, unlike a batch culture, the medium is periodically supplemented with additional nutrients to support cell growth. An example of a feed batch culture is growing bacteria in a test tube with a fixed amount of nutrient medium and then periodically adding more medium to the culture. This method allows for higher cell densities and productivity than a simple batch culture, but it still requires the culture to be harvested at the end of the process. The choice of the type of culture will depend on the specific requirements of the project, such as the desired productivity, cell density and ease of operation. It's also worth noting that mathematical models can be developed to describe and predict the growth of cells in batch, continuous and fed batch cultures. These models can be used to optimize the culture conditions and to predict the behavior of the cells under different conditions.